A hot topic in the news these days in regards to the coronavirus pandemic is what did the Chinese know and when did they know it? Were they aware earlier than others about the dangers of the spreading disease? You know, there's some good information in the price data and it's worth revisiting. In the third week of January, here on ETV, I showed this chart of the Shanghai Composite Index compared with the five-day breadth oscillator of the Class A shares in Shanghai. It's the five days of advances less the sum of five days of declines. And we remarked at the time that this, this uh, breadth oscillator had begun to deteriorate, really the last two weeks of December, and then it sharply deteriorated in early January. Subsequently, we saw the breadth oscillators in other regional indices deteriorate as well. And that gave us a heads up for the subsequent sharp decline in prices. Now looking back, we can see that that deterioration was probably evidence of concern in, within China about some potential problems down the road. So once again, news uh, tends to follow prices and not the other way around. And we can just, you don't need to follow the news to uh, have an understanding of what the underlying conditions are. That inf information is all in the prices and in the breadth data as we've shown. The second chart updates that uh, Shanghai breadth data with prices and we can see once again we're beginning to see some deterioration in the breadth. Prices have been rallying across the region in what we consider to be a corrective rally and prior to what we think it will be another sharp decline. Shanghai isn't the only index showing some breadth deterioration. We see it in the South Korean market also. And so our outlook now is that the corrective rally that we've seen across the region is likely coming to an end. and We expect prices to roll over subsequently.